Listen up, cluckheads. You're listening to Whiskey and Wine with Rooster and the Madman, where we talk about common sense, current events, the Constitution, and morals. Morals. While comparing drinks of yesteryear to drinks of today. So sit back, relax, leave us a comment. Here comes Whiskey Whiskey and and Wine. She didn't have one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, you know, I heard she just said she's going to remove. But speaking of uh, the overlord, and we invited him tonight, obviously, and but he had a date. It's just, you know, is it, like, good for him, is right? Is it my turn or your turn to watch Missing Persons? Uh, I think it's Moral's turn to watch Moral's Missing Persons. Guys, we are recording. Welcome uh, back, Luckheads. Uh, you're listening to uh, Whiskey and Wine, Rooster and Madman. You know who we are and what we do, the current events, common sense. Constitution and morals. It's me. She's over. She's got to yell today. She's gonna, yeah, she's going to have having to a pro- microphone cable problem. Yeah, so, so. She, she's going to have to project some. And we project. got a guest. And we have two guests. Two guests. We have Papa Morals. Papa Morals. And we have uh, Molly, who is a rescue from the SBCA. So she's making her studio appearance tonight. All right. Well, welcome both of you. It's going to be fun, and we'll try to be. And hopefully, only one of you will sniff places, but we don't know exactly which one that will be. <laughs> Calm down. So anyway, both, both of y'all welcome. And, and uh, Bucky wanted to make sure that yep, that, that no, Molly's staying Molly's in line. A little close to uh, Molly's getting rooster, too close to the so, to the rooster. So, so. <clears throat> but anyway, so welcome back. This is episode forty. Man, we're getting up there. Four zero. The four zero. So. Look, 38 was the a live episode there on yep. Locked and Loaded. Last it's week was loaded straight, on YouTube now. So for all last your, week your... is going to go straight to YouTube. Yep. So this one, uh, th- so this is the first time that you've heard us in a couple weeks. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. So yeah. what we got tonight, man? So tonight uh, for our drinking pleasures, uh, we have um, Arbor Mist, uh, which is our, our more lower end on that one. All it right, is a me, huge. Let me see what it, I got here. Since to I, quote the last president, it's huge. Huge. <laughs> It is a huge bottle. It's the best huge bottle in the history of huge bottles. Okay, so let me see what we got here, since I always do this low-end stuff. Arbor Arbor, Arbor Mist Merlot Blackberry, a fine wine product with delicious blackberry and other natural flavors. It's not even a wine, it's a wine. That is correct. It's not even a wine. It's It's a a wine wine product. product. That is 6% alcohol. By volume. I like how they... Is this kind of like the vodka we did where it contains vodka flavor? <laughs> and natural vodka, <laughs> the natural vodka flavors. Now here's here's the thing, though. This was six ninety nine. That's a huge bottle. It is a liter and a half. That's 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 a great deal. I mean, now, you can't go to like Trader Joe's for something like that. I mean, that's, now, that's like Aldi prices right there. Here's Here's where we know that we are in for a fun evening. The second ingredient in this wine, in this blackberry Merlot, <laughs> it should be wine. It sure, should be absolutely. It is high fructose corn syrup, just like popsicles <laughs> and Kool Aid. <laughs> it is. It is not Sea World friendly. It is very oh, much no. glass, but that's okay because you can just pour them into ice cubes, the ice yeah. cube trays. Put a toothpick in it. Hey, kids, go get mom and daddy <laughs> a Kool Aid pop. A, a, a no, no. I don't, popsicles. Want, I don't want one of yours. I want one of mine. Yeah. So I can't take it to the pool. It's, it's not pool deal. friendly. It's a good deal. I mean, that's a huge bottle for how much was it again? Six ninety nine. Six ninety nine. And that's all with right. inflation being at an all time high in forty all years. Right. Let's uh <laughs> let's Oh, it's carbonated. Oh nice. So this is more like a wine cooler. It's just the gift that keeps on giving. All right. So Let's do. Let's do. Let's do. Uh, have the pour spout. Let's, let's know, do like the. It doesn't have the pour spout. Uh, let's, let's do the President nice. Biden sniff test yeah. here. That smells like. It smells like Kool Aid. It's because it is fermented Kool Aid, most likely. It that smells like it's a blackberry Kool Aid. Sweet, I like Kool Aid. Who doesn't like Kool Aid, right? Kool Aid is awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Kool Aid. All right, so. uh I'm gonna now, in, in case y'all don't remember the last time that we oh, did one. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! Um, 
the last time that we did wines, we specifically started off saying we know nothing about wines. Now, that being said, some things have changed since then. Really? So you know more about wine now? <laughs> Oh no! I'm just talking about in the world. Some things. Oh yeah, well, things have changed in the world. Th- things have changed. I've done no studying. <laughs> okay, so here we, dumb. Here, we, here we go. That doesn't even pour like a wine. I like the chug noise it's doing. The gook, 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 gook. is that even a wine color? <laughs> you know what this looks like? It looks like Kool Aid. <laughs> It looks like some of that flavored tea that you get, like blackberry tea. Yeah, I don't know, dude. It looks like straight up Kool Aid to me. It's like, well, you know, what flavor Kool Aid do you want? I want the purple. Yeah, it's kind of like when you go get a Gatorade. What yeah. fla- hey, what, what flavor Gatorade do you want? We get purple. You want the, you want the light purple or the dark purple? Uh, it's dark purple. Go with that. Uh, dark purple. That's that's not even a flavor. It's paint yeah. drink. It's close enough. I'm partial to the blue. I prefer the blues. I prefer the light blue colors. I pretend I'm Gargamel when I get the blue ones. <laughs> okay, so uh, we Take have that, Papa Smurf. <laughs> we we have air quotes wine poured. Yeah. Um, and faces of excitement. <laughs> go ahead and uh, let's move on to to yours. All right. So. Um, I may have overshot on that one if I had known you'd spent seven bucks on a liter and a half. Uh, so this one is uh, Lindemann's Gentleman's Collection. It was the most manly wine I could find. Uh, it was twenty one dollars, um, but if you have a you know I guess a membership uh, to how many wine bottles I guess you buy, you can get a. I think they knock like three bucks off of it for me. The uh, wine, the wino appreciation. Yeah, the wino appreciation. Uh, so, but it's pretty cool. It's got this Victorian dude with his really cool beard on here. They've been around since 1848 oh. uh, doing this stuff. And, and the bottle's cool. It's super apothecary, like it's out of the you know, 1800s. Uh, and my favorite thing on it is his rule number one: language, language please. please. And apparently it's also got a dynamic living label that if you get an app, it'll do something, you know, I guess kind of like the true crime and some of the other stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I didn't know that when I got it. Uh, I just, you know, was going for the most manly wine I could find, and this this was it. Uh, This is not the top, tippy top you can get because that stuff was locked up. This is the highest I could go before they locked it up, so it didn't have that special lock on the top where I had to go get somebody to unlock it for me. So, So, but again, I didn't know we were going... You know, a normal sized bottle versus you know a gallon. That's <laughs> seven <laughs> bucks. <laughs> uh, anyways, so this I'm pretty one, sure that that's like the uh, yeah, the so white this, the white can that just says beer. Yeah, I'm so pretty this, sure that's what the Arbor Mist is. Yeah, and the Arbor Mist. I mean, the, we didn't even talk about the bottle. If you poured the Arbor Mist, is actually just a frosted glass bottle. It's not even you know it doesn't even have the amber quality. To it's keep, not but, even a wine bottle. Yeah, it's not even a wine bottle at that point. So, anyways, this one's obviously got a full on um, cork and everything. So we're gonna see if we can. Get this out of here without hurting ourselves, kind yeah. of a deal. Well, there are sharp ar- objects involved, so um, you, have, you having some problems there? Yeah, I've already messed this up. Yeah, it sounds like a sounds yeah. Like, the yeah. little thing is not quite wanting to do its job. That's what she said. I think <laughs> that's also what she said. Yeah, it's just just tearing the cork up. All right, we're going to let Papa Morals uh, have this one since he's our guest, and that's what we want to do, and he might have a little he, bit more he, experience. Yeah, with he these might wine have more, ex- more experience with fixing broken wine bottles. Because we're about another minute away from me just shooting the cap of it off. I think <laughs> I, we can get some pliers. Yeah, we might have to. We might have to. I mean, he's, but he, he's, he's getting it. Well, oh. got half the cork. He's, he's determined. Gonna happen. There it is. Oh, oh got a and, nice pop. And we it. got a nice pop. And it didn't fizz out or anything. I mean, that's that's classy right there. Pop by pop. Pop by pop. Let's smell this. Do the Biden sniff test. <sighs> wow, that smells like wine. Huh? That's a pretty good smell. I like it. I mean, I'm not a big wine guy, so we'll find out. It smells like wine. Yeah, it doesn't smell like seven dollars <laughs> wine. <laughs> <laughs> it de- definitely, de- 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 yeah. definitely does. Like not I said, I think I overshot. I didn't realize how far the how, how low the bar was on that one. So we just stepped uh, right yeah, over it. Just like, sorry, man. It's just ah, uh, 
Uh, but yeah, so we get this. Oh, look at man, Papa Morals is oh, taking his Papa, time. Papa he's Morals really enjoying is, he, that he, one. So let's get he gave us a thumbs here. up on it. Get some and, oh, some hey, did girl. you check out these wonderful wine glasses that are definitely are just shot glasses that we're pouring wine into? You notice how they had that beautiful acid etches of the uh, Marine Corps Eagle Globe and Anchor on there? Oh, yeah. You get those at giftedchicken.com. Home, home for buddy. all your beard, bath, and body needs. Yeah. Based right here in North Texas. Acid wash, dishwasher safe. So, yeah. never come off. All right. So. Now, that looks like wine. It does. It's, uh, it is a really dark color. Oh, hey, I wonder. God, when I, you look at the glasses next to each other. It, it's night and day. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm, while we're, while we're doing some topics, why don't we see if, uh, morals can get that living, sure. living label thing. So you want to take a drink of the cheap one first and then we'll get into the topics or we want to do a, go to a topic? First? <clears throat> well, uh, we always, we always do our cluckage clinkage first. Yeah. So let's get the cheap so stuff let's, uh, here. So get the, <sighs> let's do this. Your awesome glasses, Papa Morals. There you go. So. I don't know what morals yeah, is. Morals has just... disappeared, so we can say whatever we want at the moment. So there's our cluckage. Clinkage. All right. So and here we go. Sip number one. Arbus. I I don't know what I just drank. That's a grape Jolly Rancher. <laughs> it's a grape Jolly Rancher. But isn't it supposed to be blackberry? Yeah, but it tastes like grape. It was seven bucks for a liter and a half. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there were two guys sitting around and said, we should make a blackberry wine. Have you ever tasted blackberries? No. Me either. Great Jolly Rancher. It's probably the high fructose corn syrup. You know, it probably changed it up a little bit. But no, it, it, it does not taste like blackberry. It tastes like grape. Yeah. So, um, right. But, you know, it looks like grape Kool-Aid. So that, that makes sense. Um, yeah. I'm not tasting alcohol. Are you? No. Yeah. It's, but then again, I mean, it's it's got the alcohol percentage you know of, what? of a wine cooler, not even a... If I'm a 14-year-old girl, <laughs> this is probably some good stuff. All those all those <laughs> freshmen in college are enjoying this. Yeah. All right, all right. All, all right, right, all right, all right. So let's, let's jump into the topics, yeah. All right, so topic number one. Let me get the timer pulled up here. All right. Uh, timer, what was up at number one? Topic number oh, the one. Russian Olympic scandal. All right. Timer started. Yeah. You, Do you want to take you, it? I, yeah, well, I'll take it. Go for it. So first off, as a follow-up, if um, back whenever the worlds were going on, we had, uh, what is Papa Morals doing with a lighter? <laughs> is he seeing if it's flammable? <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to catch So the room. alcohol content is so, so low that it put out the flame. It does not catch fire. <laughs> oh not something God. we would ever thought of on this show. Thank you, Papa Morals. But we know what we're doing. The next time we have something like moonshine. Yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, so with the with the Russian Olympic scandal, uh, you know, we had I think her name was Cherie Richardson. That something like that. Something like that. Yeah, it was Richardson that was the last name. Richardson that. was the last name. World class athlete. She got. Busted for testing positive for marijuana. Yeah, she partake of the doobage. Yeah, she. Uh, Does anybody got, say doobage anymore? She, she got she got some of those Scooby snacks. Yeah. Now, that being said, she handled that like a pro. Yeah, she she, she owned up to it. She took her punishment. Yeah, no big deal. And I'm hoping that she makes the next Olympics. Yeah. And then we get this 15 year old girl from Russia, figure skater, test positive for performance enhancing drugs. Now I know what you're thinking, Rooster. Well, this is the Olympics. They kicked her out. Yeah, of course. No. no, they they did. She is strong like bull. <laughs> <laughs> so not only did they let her compete, they let her skate. Now that being said, that means that one of the uh, people. We'll class it up. Yeah, we're classing up. We're putting, we're putting some. We're putting some ice in our Kool Aid wine. Um, one of the people that she placed ahead of wouldn't qualify for the free skate now. And now this girl is the only girl currently in the Olympics that can pull a quad. With the you're looking at me like you have no idea what that is. I have no idea what that is. It means four in oh. the air. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I don't know if you know this about me. 
No, I, I don't know anything about figure skating. <laughs> <laughs> really? I thought that was, thought that was, no, I thought I that was like one of your pastimes. You said quad, Russian girl. I was thinking like an ox thing, you know, <laughs> or you pull the cart. And <laughs> <laughs> you, watch too, you watch too many videos yeah, on that, uh, whatever so. that hub is, that hub something. <clears throat> no, no, I wasn't thinking that either. <laughs> but uh, anyways. But anyway, so whenever they let her skate, even the commentators are saying she shouldn't be here. Yeah, it's and, and you know one of the one of the cool things about watching the Olympic Games is that these are superhumans. These are like especially with performance enhancing drugs. These are, I mean, these are like the humans that they're like mutants. That yeah, they're they're basically like a mutant. Yeah. I mean, you take that and the, all these people that are clean doing it, and then you put somebody in there on well, performance I mean, enhancing drugs. Let's let's not let this one incident. Sully Russia's reputation in the Olympics. With no, we shouldn't. Drugs. Like we didn't let it in eighty or eighty four or eighty eight or, or every Olympics since, since nineteen eighty <laughs> that they've had somebody get every busted. Olympics every single one. And what's funny is that there's even a uh, there's even a documentary on Netflix about the Russian blood doping and how that the main doctor, whenever he was he he performed these, he came clean. The KGB were trying to put a hit on him, so he came to America and he left his he had to leave his wife and kids over there. Yeah. So I mean well, you th- know. they're known for doing this and then they still let the girl skate. I get it, she's a minor. She may not have known what the coaches were putting in her stuff. Doesn't matter. The coaches should be banned for life. Russia should be banned from the Olympics. And yeah. then and then, you know, you have somebody like Richardson that was an adult that owned her mistakes. And last time I checked, marijuana is not a performance enhancing drug unless you're watching Call of Duty on well, I don't Xbox. Know, man. We or- talked about when we covered that, I made it very clear uh it is a performance enhancing drug. If you've ever been to seven eleven killing a burrito <laughs> <laughs> Or to, to putting the, down a bag of Doritos, the, the, the burrito, Dorito d- yeah. biathlon. Yeah. So I mean, and, you know, the other thing, but it's not the only person the Russian, uh, uh, excuse me, the Russian teams uh, that has made the news. So there was a, a Russian uh, male skater, uh, I think he a uh, speed skater, I think he was. Uh, yeah. So he he won his gold, and as he did his victory deal, he he flipped the double birds to the U.S. team. No, because you know, so, that, I'm sure that there that was just out of sportsmanship. Yeah. It's it's. You, but you know, in Russia, it's your number one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, timer just yeah. went off. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, sure. so timer just went off. Uh, what do we think about this Kool Aid? It's it's Kool Aid. It doesn't even. It doesn't taste like alcohol. It does not taste bad. You know, it, it's kind of surprising. It reminds me of uh, what was it that we had the Bones Farm. No, that was good. That was good. <laughs> that was really good. And in fact, that was the only that was the only low end that actually won. Wasn't yeah, it? and that was four bucks. Yeah, no, it was three bucks. Yeah, but it was only seven hundred fifty milliliters. I like how the moral spruced it up though, and she gave us this. Uh, yeah, I like the the, the ice. The cube, ice cube. I felt like I had to put it in the expensive one too, just to make sure I get a true comparison here. <sighs> I like throwing E on the end of it. Pronounce it, dear Tay. Don't spritz, don't spritz it up, dear Tay. <clears throat> All right, well, so, tell you what. <clears throat> I'm going to hand this bottle over here so that way in case the morals decides that she wants to uh, figure, to figure out, out the, 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 living the, the technology that goes the line on that stuff. So, What did you say? The, what, there was a one that did that called True Crimes? Yeah, True Crimes, it gives you like a whole story of whoever the criminal is that's on the bottle. They take like notorious, you know, criminals of like historic B-I-G. value and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The notorious yeah. B.I.G. Yeah. The notorious B.I.G. Uh, and they put him on there and he's all like, you know, East Coast and West Coast. And so do they have one that's like Tupac super cheap or like still reserved and just has a picture of the overlord sitting there like looking at it? He's been in Facebook jail so many times I don't even know if he remembers how to log in. No, but you know what? We can make you know how happen. they put people who are missing on the back of milk cartons, like kids and stuff? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Just say it. <laughs> it's a new way of showing missing persons. Uh, have you seen this man? <laughs> we don't want him back. We just want to make sure he's okay. <laughs> yeah. So, I so, think we need so, to. So, Pop Morals, what do, what do you think about the Kool Aid? Really, really? I mean, it's not bad. It's just no. I mean, it's not wine. No, it says Merlot, and that's a clucking lie. It's wet. It's tasty. There it's you wet. go. It's no. wet and it's tasty. 
So many things I want to say to that, but I know that I get. I'm yeah, already we're, getting we're a yellow card. From yellow cards. On I'm this. already I'm getting a yellow. Take a she, drink do you see that? I said. I said. I looked over, and she was already like with the mm. eyebrow raised. She was ready to yellow card yeah, she's me. Ready on that one. So, are you ready for our next topic? Uh, or you want to take? You, a, you want to go to the next one? Do it. Let's, let's let's taste the next one. All right. Let me see here. Man, I do have to say the quality of these of these glasses from giftedchicken.com, dot cool. these are amazing. Yeah. Let's get our cluckage clinkage going on here. There we Bob go. Morals over there cheating. Well, well, it's not his radio show. He's a guest. You're the <laughs> one that. True. Well, you guys always call me out for cheating and drinking before we're supposed to. All right, here we go. Or licking the bottle like last time. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just lick that bottle? No. No. <laughs> well, it's wine. You know what? I don't fucking like it. <laughs> I don't like it. It's vinegar. It's it's a Cabernet, so it's not a Merlot. Which yeah. Is automatically more dry and less sweet. Yeah. We're so sweet. so we're comparing a dry to a sweet because yeah. a Cabernet is uh, dry as Merlots are sweet, and then the, that also has you know. But for me, this is not. Any more standout than a table wine at an Italian restaurant? Just a basic, table, you know, cheap table wine that they bring out. I don't know. I'm just getting a lot of vinegar taste off of it. Yeah, it's it's kind of maybe we got a bad bottle. Yeah, it's 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 kind of summer's eve tasted. This after this, that's yeah, it really is. Well, and we'll have more because there is a go back where we got. Yeah, try we it, so. we we do a side by side. So, Papa Morris, we'll not, get there. It's not horrible. It's just for 21 bucks, I can get a pretty good bottle of whiskey. You know, for twenty for twenty one bucks, you could get like thirty steel line. reserves. <laughs> you truckload of steel reserve. <laughs> you just sit it out there in the dungeon next to the John Kerry cutout. Ain't a homeless person bring it in for you. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I mean it's it's all right. It's it's, it's not, not the worst thing we've ever. It's, it's not it's, it's not definitely not it's not Clan McGregor. No, it's not any there anywhere out there with the bad ones that we've ever had. No. So. Uh, it's but just not I'm super just, impressive. I'm just not super impressed with it. All, All right. right, next topic. So Let I'll start here. this one whenever you get the, the timer right, timer's going. Here. going. What is the next one? So, uh, <laughs> yeah. So COVID has created an interesting uh, situation. What's uh, that, Rooster? So here we have these schools that are short on teachers. Well, yeah, so there's, there's New shortages Mexico everywhere. Specifically, they have solved the problem. So they did they hire more teachers? No, they've activated their national guard. No, to come in I mean surely they surely and, they, they, they and, like no. took kids out of the college. That, no, and no, using, no, they're using the national guard. No, uh, yeah. they wouldn't yeah. do something. Yeah, like so that. I mean I could just see how that goes, man. Oh crap, I'm getting deployed again. What was your last deployment? Kandahar. Where are you going this time? Grover <laughs> Cleveland Elementary. Grover <laughs> Cleveland Elementary. <laughs> no, no lie. So they got national guard troops subbing in as teachers. Um, Why on earth did you show up to school? At 7.30, PT starts at yeah, 0500. I mean, and, and you guys can't see it. He's already knife-handing me just like these guys are doing these students. But think about this this situation. <laughs> so you've got these <laughs> – so here you got this 19-year-old combat veteran <laughs> teaching 17- and 18-year-old kids in high school. Now, I don't care <sighs> what they teach you. In these regular classes, what I'm telling you is that whenever you're in combat and the cluck hits the fan, cigarettes are like well, gold. Here, here's Always how, stock up in cigarettes before you go out here's to how, the field. I can imagine how one of the middle school classes has to end. All right, now, that's how you <laughs> properly pack a can of Copenhagen. <laughs> Sir, we're, I'm 11. I, I, can't, I can't buy that. Shut your mouth, Timmy. I will so. tell you when to talk. And God forbid there's some kid named Jody in one of these <laughs> just classes. Just get out. Just get out. Just we already know what out. you're doing. Just get out. Just get out. Just get out. And I can see the, you know, the principal coming Why in. Why don't you just go ahead and, and wear your straight bill cap with your affliction shirt I can shirt see one of the principals coming in. It's like, hey, uh, madman, I need to talk to you about how you're talking to these kids. You know what? You shut your face, you freaking pogue. <laughs> <laughs> how about this? How about you wipe that look off your face and you about face and go right out that door that oh, you walked just, in on. I mean, I just... That's the best conversation that we can have. I can see... Okay, guys, fill it in. All right, so, uh, so the pop quiz is so, probably what makes the grass grow. <laughs> Blood! <laughs> Parent, you can just keep going on and on with this stuff. This is going to go bad real fast. 
Okay, okay, okay. It's for the children. It's, it is, just like Nancy Pelosi says, it's for the children. So we're just doing this for the children. We're doing this for the children. Yeah. Can you imagine them like at recess? <laughs> we're gonna go. We're gonna go in a full rut today. C one thirty running down, down the strip. <laughs> <laughs> It's for the children, morals. It's, it's, it's for the children, morals. There's nothing about this that's a good idea. Um, you just there's not. You know, I mean, Grant, maybe maybe the Marine Corps was different because when I was in the Army, I don't remember any school teacher MOS. <laughs> it just, it just don't. Uh, it just, just, just move on. They just, I just don't move get on. it. Why are you telling us to move on? We we still have a minute and a half left. We can we can literally milk this all day. This has this has nipples but, but, coming off of it but in every this, direction. But on, to be serious, so one of the things, how does that a yellow card? One of the articles I read was actually you can guy, milk anything with nipples. We learned that in in that one movie with uh, Ben Stiller. Well, Madman, I have nipples. <laughs> can you milk me? <laughs> no, but uh, I actually read a story on a guy that yes, one of the can. one of the teachers are using. It's a National Guard member. He just finished a deployment on the border, <laughs> trying to stop the illegal immigration, and they pulled him off of that and stuck him in a school. And he was talking about how probably, you, you can't talk to these kids the same way you talk to your coworkers that you deal with the people. You can't talk to them the same way you deal with people overseas. It's it's a different animal, uh, and it's just just night and day. I'll leave it at could, that. Could I still put that little sign up like at the front where it says, must stay back 500 meters, violators will be shot? I don't think they'll allow that in the school. So What? Yeah, it's, yeah there's probably no firearms in the school. So, Well, yeah. I guess it also depends on which school. I'd like to be the PE teacher just because I'd like to get the uh, the Pugo st- the Pugo sticks right <laughs> get the Pugo sticks out there and be like, "All right, y'all about to learn something today." And remember, Johnny, Jody, come here. You're going to be our first student. Remember, a bayonet between the third and the fourth rib. You're dead eye silent. <laughs> If you're in the back, remember to go right above the belt line, right to the left of L4. They yeah. won't feel themselves at the ground. It's the most humane way to stab somebody. So, yeah, this we we at Whiskey and Wine do not condone the stabbing of anybody of any kind. <laughs> yes. Oh, the timer just went Teaching off. Teaching our children is a precious. Yeah, yeah. timer just went off. Should be honored. Whew. Not sullied. So I don't like it. Eh, I don't like wine. I don't like wine, but I really don't so. like this. I mean, it's okay. I would drink it. So if I was out and we were having wine, I wouldn't say no to this. Was a good steak? Oh, see, he's got to throw steak in there. Yeah, yeah but see, if it was a good, if it was a good steak, I maybe put, that's what I'm doing wrong. Yeah. So he, he, if in case the mics didn't pick him up, Papa Morrill said, you know, it was a good steak. It's not bad. However, if I had a nice smoky scotch or a bourbon, I would take that with that steak over this. So, but that's because that uh, don't like I don't like wine. <laughs> All right. So let's get a go back in oh, before we yeah, do our follow ups. Uh, so I think uh, hold on, we're gonna need some refills here. <laughs> we're gonna need some refills on the Kool Aid in this frosted glass bottle. <laughs> you remember when we do our go backs, we start with the high end, we and then we go back the to the high, low yeah. end. Yeah, I I remember the rules well, to our own Papa show. Morals has never been here for this, so I remember the rules to our own show. Thank you very much. And and just so you know, Papa Morals licking the bottle apparently is frowned on. Frowned apparently. on in the studio, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. I don't know why we got to throw all that out there. <laughs> Lick it before you. S- no, never mind. All right. So, I'll just where's the uh, yellow card on that? I mean, she gave on, it to man. me. She 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 cut her eyes out. Right. I just so high end, high end, collector's clinkage. Okay. Now, uh, Arbor Mist. Arbor Mist, Blackberry Arbor Mist. Merlot. Blackberry Merlot. It's just Kool-Aid. It's Kool-Aid. Yeah, it's not wine. It's, uh... Essentially, it's wine that no one at the table likes, and then Kool-Aid that everyone at the table was indifferent to. Yeah, so... I, I, I mean... Everyone has to make their own choices. This, this week, you can make All your right. own bad decisions. So, we'll, let, let's do the, uh... Let's do the big FUs. Do the big FUs. Wait a second. We'll the back. big FUs! Big, big FUs! FUs! Stands for follow-up. Does it? Sometimes. Okay. All right. So let me get this timer started. Let's see what we got here for some big FUs. Okay. Uh, well, you know, we. 
Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. So, uh, uh, <laughs> they have emergency power now. Yeah, so uh, Trudeau has got the Emergency Act activated for the first time in the history of Canada. Uh, formerly known as the War Powers uh, deal there. but So what that does is that basically makes... Oh, is that what, is that, what that used to so be? So that pretty much powers? makes him the... Um, the Emperor Sith Lord yeah. uh, of Canada right now. It gives him executive power over everything. Pretty much everything. Yeah. So yeah, I did read that they were seizing people's funds. Yeah, he did. He did. Now he did. Or not, say, I shouldn't say seizing funds. They're freezing people's yeah, funds. Yeah. So to kind of give you an idea of what they're doing on the Emergencies Act is so he has directed that the uh, the financial system uh, that banks freeze the funds of any of the protesters, uh, confiscate their trucks, their vehicles, or anything that they're using in their protest. One year in prison. And a hundred thousand dollar fine, and then if you're a truck driver, you're also going to lose your license, so you can't work again when you get out of prison and pay that hundred thousand dollar fine. But wait, there's more, because you know, in social media, you have freedom of speech, right? Yes. Did you uh, happen to see what happens to the people that go and they like any of the pages or events that? Are going on to protest. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. So if you're a Canadian and you like any of the Facebook pages or social media pages around this Freedom Convoy, you get a visit from the Royal or the Royal Mounted Police Force. It's crazy. You, from, you get a visit from the Mountain Me Police. Now I watched some videos of it. You actually get a visit, and all you do is you get a pamphlet instructing like you. Like Jehovah's on, Witnesses. Yeah. So you get you 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 get a copy of the Watchtower. Uh, that shows you how to uh, properly protest your government and what uh, you can and cannot do. Do they show up in those big hats? So, I mean, and I really felt bad because these cops were struggling to try to spin this as a positive when they were going door to door and people were videotaping it. Um, so, because Trudeau wants everybody to know, you have the right to peaceful protest unless you're protesting him. Uh, then it's absolutely taboo because, you know, these people have – They've, well, they've. I mean, I, I saw how that played nothing. out. I saw how that played they've out. They've destroyed episode two, no attack of the clones. property whatsoever. Uh, in fact, when the Canadian government started playing horrible music to you know just trying to do that whole sound system drown mm-hmm. them out, uh, these people had a big dance party <laughs> in Ottawa oh. to like Baby Shark and all kinds of stuff. They and were I, having a good time with you it. You know, also he uh, said anybody that was uh, conservative party were. Also, the same people waving the Nazi flag. Yeah, and to be clear on that one, he was directing that towards the conservative parliament member who questioned his change in direction from 2005 to now. Uh, but, you know, surely and, surely that, that wouldn't have like hit home And I understand why he, why he threw that at her, because she's, she's Jewish. What? Uh, no, he wouldn't have done that. she's actually a descendant of a Holocaust survivor. But so. we, are, we already know yeah, from... You absolutely want to call those people. We already know from Oprah, the, or the from uh, Whoopi Goldberg, that the Holocaust... Yeah, was so he anyway. wouldn't apologize. He just basically wouldn't talk to the microphone. He keeps walking out of these parliament meetings and stuff like that. You know, it's... it's, it's re- I mean, it's really... Everything about this screams dictator. And we're not talking the slippery slope like we talked about in the United States. I like how you the, put the uh, emphasis just, on the first syllable of that word. And you didn't get yellow carded. Which dictator? Oh, dictator. So, <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, but what do you expect? She's I mean, this, us this is the same prime minister who was in blackface. What? Yeah. No. And everybody didn't seem to care. So apparently, the trick is to being a dictator is tell everybody your opponents are Nazis. Sounds like so. yeah. And then yeah, and then you then apparently then everything's then okay. oh okay well it's it's fine. You can you can trample all over our, our constitutional rights. And Speaking of trampling on rights, uh, you know, Russia decided to pull back uh, their troops from the border. Did they? Because <laughs> <laughs> there's some satellite images that says they didn't. And they actually kind of built up another 7,000. 7, yeah. And oh, and they have a pontoon bridge. Yeah, there's a combat pontoon bridge in the in the river with the Belorus, excuse me, border. So yeah. I'm sure they're not going to use that. Nah. For anything. N- anything at uh, all. Belarus. Belarus. Sorry, say what I say. Belarus. Belarus. Whatever. It's the wine. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> we can bl- we can blame we can blame it on that. It's the rooster. Yeah, it's fine, the rooster. Fine, fine, fine. But yeah. So uh, yo oh they also shelled a kindergarten. So you know, there we go. Yeah. But no, that was just the Russian sympathizers. You know what? Maybe they thought they were national guard teachers in that <laughs> kindergarten. <laughs> There's nothing funny about bombing kindergartens. It's actually sad, but it, the Russians. Oh, it was, hold my beer and watch yeah, this. It was, hold it was hold my vodka and watch this, comrade. Uh, that did that one. So, uh, uh, but you know, 
But, you know, at least the vice president's on her way over there to help with it. Yeah, she's on her way to Munich. So because, you know, cool. whenever she interviewed with Lester Holt, she said she hadn't been to Europe either. Well, well where in the, the world, world is Kamala Harris? Harris? She's on her way to Munich. Yeah, she's going to fix this whole Ukraine she's gonna, Germany. She's got it now. Because, you know, the Germans don't really want to support the Ukrainians. No, this one, so. not at all. But why would you? When you get oh, timer just went off. Anyways. Okay, so I got to say... I don't really know how to compare these two. One tastes like a really dry wine. The other one tastes like Kool-Aid. I will say this, that the Arbor Mist is leaving me a little prickly on the inside. So I'm going to go. Because with, it's because it's so sweet. I, it's, yeah. I'm going to go with the, the Gentleman Collection because the bottle is awesome. Um, and it tastes like a wine. I'm going to go with the Gentleman because it tastes like a wine. Yeah. Papa Morals, he, he's giving us a thumbs up to the yeah. gentleman. Morals. What did our augmentation what did, of reality do here? Uh, I'm guessing. Oh, my God, it talks. <gasps> the little Victorian dude talks. Okay, well, tell you what, we're going to give you a follow-up on this next week. That's dope. Oh, it's the Victorian dude talking. Yeah, he's talking. He's like the little bus at uh, at the haunted uh, mansion. Okay, so maybe we're not going to do a follow up on this next week. We're we're going to do this. This is next. cool. This is cool. All right. So All yeah, right. that just seals it. I <clears> mean, throat> we'd throat> already picked it anyways, but that yeah, that that right there. that yeah. was the nail in the coffin. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty cool. So uh, if you're looking for a, a wine and you don't know anything about wines, um, <laughs> gentleman collection. Like, obviously, we are wine connoisseurs. It's so. uh, it's it's purple. It's, uh, it's purple. <laughs> And uh, dry, yes, it's not sweet, it's not sweet, uh, but it tastes like wine, and it tastes like wine, and a good, but not a bad wine. It's not like box, uh, wine. Uh, apparently, it's also full bodied, full bodied, which I would have said if the morals hadn't have said it already. Because, <laughs> but if you're looking for a children's flavored drink, uh, and an alcohol beverage, then go with the Arbor Mist. Hey, man, you can make some good popsicles out of that. Better still reserve. <laughs> that's, that's not, not saying that's, right. that's where you get, that's all you're going to get out of me on that one. Is <laughs> it's better than still reserve. So, well, thanks for tuning in, cluckheads, and, uh, episode 40. So, Four zero. it's, uh, always, it's always fun having special guests in the studio while we're recording, and I seem to have lost the dog. It's, it's okay. There's no doors open. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, can't go well, far. You know, we'll throw a steak on the ground. We'll find them. Yeah. <laughs> I can go for a steak, man. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in. You've been listening to Whiskey and Wine with the Rooster and the Madman. And remember, in a world full of chickens, be a rooster. You're listening to Whiskey and Wine. Thanks for tuning in to Whiskey and Wine with the Rooster and the Madman, where you can catch brand new episodes every Saturday at 4 p.m. on Deep Dallas Radio on Locked and Loaded with DJ Shane Guns. Special thanks to our sponsor, GiftedChicken.com, home to all your beard, bath, and body care needs. Veteran owner operator right here in North Texas. Remember to pick a bottle of Overlord's Dungeon Oil. It's 100% all-natural coconut oil. Leaves a prickly on the insides.